Hey y'all, I'm just here at the laundromat. Uh, waiting on my clothes to dry. Eating a bag of uh, skins. Something about a bag of skins and waiting on your clothes to dry. Just go together. Just go together. But anyway. I was sitting here thinking. Y'all know. I love God. I, I love the Lord. And I was just sitting here thinking, just talking to the Lord, having a conversation with the Lord. And I was asking him, I was saying to the Lord, I was like, there's not enough words in songs there's not enough crying I can do there's not enough anything that I could do that I feel will be pleasing to the Lord and I want to be so I was telling God you know I just want to I just want to be pleasing I just want God to be happy with me so it come to me I believe the only way I could make God really happy is to be sweet to people. And when that comes to my mind, I know Holy Spirit told me that. Just be sweet. Just be good to people. All people. Be good to rich people. Be good to poor people. Be good to the sick. Be good to the well. Be good to the black, white, Indian, Hispanic. Be good to all walks of life. And when you be good to people, that pleases the Father. And I believe Holy Spirit told me that. Oh, mm-hmm. Because when you love people, you love God. I don't think you can... be absolutely good to people and not love God I really believe that then you might then you might can I don't know but that's just how I feel about it because if you think about what was God's purpose his purpose was people God had people on his mind he was created for people he died for people and he's showing up coming back for what? People. He's coming back for man. So, I believe if I be good to people, that that will make God smile upon my life. And I like being good to people. I do. Because God loves us. Nothing, nothing we can do about it. He loves us. So those are just some of my laundromat thoughts. Just a little bit of my conversation with the Lord. That be good to people. Treat people right. Don't hold no grudges. Treat your enemies right. Be good to your enemies. Mmm, that's a big one there, isn't it? Be good to your enemies. Let me read on. I got my Bible here. Mm. Let Oh, Lord, that like gave me a cramp in my neck. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I can't even reach, honey. Mm, it put a cramp in my neck just to reach like that. But I want to read Colossians 3 and 3. 
in this scripture I was watching our Grace Truth Teachers video and she had mentioned this scripture in one of her videos and when she mentioned the scripture it just stood it just it just was planted in my heart and I've been using this scripture with with my life and Colossians 3 and 3 says for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. That's all it says. I make it personal. I said, for I am dead. And my life is hid with Christ in God. So, if my life is dead and I'm hid with Christ in God, people can affect, people can affect me. You know, you can go to the graveyard and you go stand out in the graveyard, you can stomp on somebody's grave, spit on their grave, talk trash to them. Guess what? That person that's in that grave ain't going to get up and say one thing to you because they're dead. They're dead. And that's how we have to be as people of God. We got to stop walking around with so much carnal and so much carnality, so many emotions. They did this to me. They didn't say my name. They didn't call me. They overlooked me. So what? So what? Die. That's what I say, die. If you die, you won't have to worry about how you feel or how somebody affects you. So that's what we got to do. We got to die. Die to our emotions. So that we can what? Be hid in Christ with God. Because you can't love people when you're alive. You can't love them. Because people will betray you. People will do things to hurt you. But if you hid and dead in Christ, you just like the man in the graveyard. You ain't going to get up and say nothing, honey. Nothing. And that's how I want to live. Because I'm telling you now. What a blessing, blessing, blessing time. That's about that's about over with y'all. There's some perilous times coming. And only the faithful in God, only those that are trusted in God. Not trusting him because he gives us a car, because he gives us a house, but we trust him in the work, in the redemptive work on the cross. And only those of us that are trusted in the work on the cross. We're the only ones that's gonna survive. Because there is some perilous times coming. Perilous times. People are dying. People are being killed daily. They are. So, Lord, my prayer has helped me satisfy you by being good to people that you created. And, that, and that's what my desire is. I desire to please God. I do. Sometimes I want to leave up out of him. Just to be with God. Just to be with God. And sometimes, I don't know if people think I'm, I act funny sometimes. I don't know. No one's never told me that. But sometimes I just want to get away from everything. Just be with God. Just get in, get in his presence. I love the Lord. I love him. Oh, God, when I think about Jesus, I was thinking about him. What was he thinking when he was walking to the cross? He had been beat, spit on, lied on. His friends, all of them laughing. That's a hurting thing when your friends leave. All his friends laughing. And he was walking to the cross, carrying the cross. What was on the mind of Christ when he was going to the cross? I was on his mind. You was on his mind. That's what was on his mind. <sighs> so anyway, y'all. I'm just talking to the Lord while my clothes are drying. I just want to be... I just, I just want him to be pleased. That's all. Whatever it takes, I'm going to please him. I'm going to please him. I ain't got nothing that God can't have. Nothing. Nothing that God can't have. Whatever I got, and he need it for the people, he can have it. Because I ain't got nothing he can't have. Nothing. 
All right, y'all, I'm finna go. I'm finna go. But, um, I thought I would just share that with y'all, what I was thinking and talking to the Lord. <clears throat> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.